Hello, good people of the internet. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Johnny's a bit salty right now. I died three times. Yeah. Before the loop even ended. Sorry. Loop. Loops, brother. Brother. <laughs> brother. With the, oh, when you only worked on a press offer together, didn't we come up with like a whole ass like yes. thing about that? I don't remember what it was anymore, but yeah, I remember... Something, something Dark, Sto Dark Souls, but with loop or something? I... Loop I more. Yeah. Ah, uh, jeez. Brother. Oh. Where the fuck do I want to go? Well... You can open up your map to find it if you want. Actually, you know what? Fair enough. Yeah, all right. Is it Brutal Hollow has a fuck ton of lore in it? Let's go to Brutal Hollow. Um, one thing, do they know how to, uh... Uh, I don't know if they know how to do it, but I know that they, I think they know it's a thing at least. <laughs> That's death. That is death. I locked in something else. Also, did you just do autopilot. <laughs> I did do autopilot. Did you abort autopilot before it was completed? Because it slows you down, and, but if you I, abort it, then you're just going the same velocity. I left him with something else, which must have just been my own pilot. Well. I... it's fine, just... Welcome, I, people of the internet. <laughs> Hello again, people of the internet, welcome... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna cut that. <laughs> no, I know you're not gonna cut it, it was more of like a... It was a short loop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. this, this, this. What if we, what if, what if at every loop we were just like, hello good people of the internet, welcome to. Yeah. <laughs> that would make for a good point of joke, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, we would have to do that each time, and since we haven't started doing it, you know, it's kind of too late. Yeah. That too. Okay, where's fucking Brutal Hollow? Right there. And make sure I don't fucking de Just do the thing the and then don't touch any buttons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Now look, look at this anything over here! Jeez. You slammed... right into it. Hey, look! A distraction! Where? <laughs> Are you, like... Where? Okay. I wasn't sure what you were on top of. Um... Context. Ha ha ha. He he. Is that the uh, escape pod? Yeah, you guys already explored the escape pod. And the, a bit of the hanging. Well, wait. Do you mind if I tell them? About what? I mean, go ahead. Right. So, uh, you know that there's a black hole at the center of the planet, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Um, if you ever fall, like, off or something like that, or you want to get somewhere quickly or, like, cheese it or something like that, you can use the gravity of the black hole and your thrusters to like orbit around to different places inside of Brittle Hollow. Somehow I right. knew you wanted to say that before you said it. Yeah. So kind of like the thing we were doing with the jumping and the jetpacks on um, Ember Twin. Pretty Am much. Sure okay. It's just inside the planet and you want to be pretty careful about how you do it. Because I mean, you're not going to die if you get sucked into the black hole, but you could die by like slamming yourself into something. Right. But there are different things that will like take you up and whatnot. Um, I think the only thing in here is like a a note, but uh, I think you guys might have already gotten it. I'm not. I don't remember entirely though, because it's been <laughs> it, we haven't been to Brittle Hollow since the last recording session like months ago. Oh, is this a way into the Hanging City? Oh, I think it is. What? Very nice. Well, shit. Hmm? The only thing about uh, Brutal Hollow that's time-wise is you want to make sure that, you know, you don't get hit by any of the falling uh, debris. Yeah, and also um, some sections that I, I, some important sections actually still fall, out, fall into the black hole. Yep. Matter of fact, I, I you think... missed a thing that behind you. On that little... Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Gravity Crystal Workshop above. I think it's probably where you were, maybe? Mm. 
Did you already look at that mural? I don't remember what you guys did. Gravity Cannon, east 400 meters. Did you look at that mural? Cutting out this? Yeah. I don't remember doing that. Uh, well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on, and not how I eventually have to come back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down to the surface. Oh yeah, this is the guy that's... hate... Wait, did they met him? Yeah, they've met him. Okay, yeah, he hates space. Yeah. So much. Who, who? The guy that's on this planet. Oh. I forget his name, but... but you uh, know, Feldspar? No. Uh, no. Ryback? Yeah. Yeah, Ryback, that's it. Because Garbo is the one on Giant Gabbro. Steam. Gabbro, Gabbro, yeah. Gabbro, thank you. And, uh, the other Garbo. one... <laughs> uh, the other one is on, um... Uh, There's one on Owl Rock. Yeah. There's one on... Giant, Giant Steve, Steve. Giant Steve. one on one of the twins. One of the twins, yeah. Right, there's the, twin here. One here on... Um, and then there's one in Bramble. Yeah. Feldspar is the one in Bramble. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, if we want to go back to uh, Timber Hearth, we can actually tell them that, he, that we found him alive. Oh, okay. As soon as I start dry hitting, I'm going to head right down below so I can refill my tank. So actually look at these, because these are important. Was this like a... Is it like a map, kind of? Okay, so this is where we're at, I'm assuming? I I think so, yes. I, I, no, you're fine, you're fine. It was a good question. To the north, this is a thing. There's something in each direction, it looks like. Mm. What's that to the south? This one's where a dome? Or... That's the black hole, I think. No, that's no the, that is the, the dome. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I think I think there's yeah, a... The tra- so there was a dory. Uh, yeah, there's like a... Uh, on the think... surface? You can't get in from the surface. Because it's... The ice. Cause there's like a... Right. I mean, they're... Yeah, they, they found that, but the door's broken. Right yeah. real quick. Just to see oh, what we're looking behind you. Behind me? Right there. Oh, shit, yeah. That's probably a good idea. Hanging City. City. Okay, well. It's weird to see this bridge complete. Yeah, it's because uh, throughout, <laughs> throughout the... Uh, throughout the loop, it, it actually breaks... Mm. And uh, gravity at some points will be like intense. Oh, I'm dumb. You were right, Johnny, uh, about the Ash twins because it said 0.7 times gravity, and you're like, oh, it's somewhat lighter. I'm like, no, it means heavier, right? But no, if it's under one, that means lighter. Yeah. Uh, I'm dumb. School district, <laughs> Mount Water district. I shrink district might do that. Black uh, Hole Forge District. Oh, you the know, fucking Black Hole Forge. I know. I actually uh, found a way to, like, cheese that. Yeah, me too. Oh, you did the same thing? I don't even think I found the official way, honestly. The official way is a warp. Oh, you know, that's right. But th- then you still have to get it up, though. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. do. So, I mean, honestly. Yeah. Oh, God. Black Hole Forge controls. Yeah. I don't remember if you guys have been here yet or not. Doesn't look like it. The National Project remains a powerful, highly advanced work war. How should we obtain it? No, was this okay, you guys have not. No, that's the same thing no matter where you put it. Because it's the scroll. Okay. But you will find two other scrolls in this area. I'm pretty sure there's one in that house. Oh, it's not actual cigarette smoke. Never mind. Hmm? Yeah, no, it's just... Yeah, he wouldn't smoke inside. I haven't kind of smoke a little, like a fart off my own pants. But I am still sorry. I didn't mean to blow it in your face. I understand. Uh, did I, am I just engaging you? <laughs> no, no, okay. Well, you found one of the scrolls. I get tilted Ooh. sometimes watching you guys fly. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing on you guys. I feel strange trying to recreate... And Ona's real core without him. At times, I still feel strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care, not his. Hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor, and deeply. Oh. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint anyone. 
I think I can do this. Probably. But what if excitement has caught up my assessment of my own abilities? That's poke. Yeah. I was wrong in volunteering. Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system, and I never saw a known as warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Still, all I can give is my best, and as a note I would say, show my best proof insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Brute in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Alright. So I'm guessing this goes elsewhere entirely. What? No, there's there was three things down there you could put yeah. it in. Yeah. Right, right down there. <laughs> I know, that's We can retrieve the work core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble, plumed by father, said many good know I perish there. My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we can avoid the anglerfish entirely. What Millaray and I discovered from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. I remember that anglerfish fossil we used to play in the fossil, fossil fish cave when we were children. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall was present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. All right. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, providing we're able to transport it back here. So this is like the next generation of... Because those are all the kids that have grown up now. Yeah. So, uh, hey, Dylan, b before you go up, there's a, another house that should have the last scroll in it. That one right there. Oh, yeah, it's... Yeah, oh. sorry. I just, I didn't want you to get too far. <laughs> scroll! Scroll! But yeah. You didn't want me to scroll on? We can craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have any design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Pope was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting similar cores. Simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it, though? I have tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the I is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Hmm. I wonder hmm. what the simpler cores look like. Yeah. Kind of makes me wonder if it's the ones that power the warp ring. Uh, and if that's the case, and those are the simple ones, then what does the more powerful one look like? Oh, God. Because we've never actually seen the vessel. Have we? No, we haven't. So that, that lifts that up. Now you can go back under the surface and use that to go down, right? No. No? Uh, it's not an elevator. Oh. So, so if you look at it, it... Hold up! Yes. I, d I just want to say something to you real quick. What's up? This is very trial and error, so... If you're going to do what I think you're going to do, just be careful. You're also going to have to act pretty quickly. Very quickly. Uh, you got to no. wait for it to go all the way down, man. Like, there's... You need as much time as possible. <laughs> trust. Trust us. We are... No, 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 man, you gotta go all the way down. All, no, all the way down. What are you, know, what are you doing? You said it needs as much time as possible, so I'm going to get back up. Well, well, no, he means you need to... Maybe we assume too much. We might have assumed too much. So just do what you were going to do. I just want to see what would happen if I just put it down. Is it... Does it have gravity in it? It doesn't fall, no. Oh, I see! I had to catch up to it, don't I? 
I do want to remind you, there is a legitimate way to get there. I don't I don't think he's still on the same oh, page okay. as us. Fair enough. Fair enough. We might have said too much. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if you do that, then how is it gonna... <laughs> well, shit, I have fucked myself. Yeah. Well, I'll just go to the White Hole Station. You can't go back through the White Hole. Yep. You have to go to the White Hole Station. To your left. And above the wall. It, it's right there. Oh. Uh, don't slam into it. Slow yeah, down. You're gonna wanna... You, you remember, you're in space. You keep velocity. Yes, I... However, your suit works like ship controls do, so I mean, you can always hit A to align. I keep bringing that. <laughs> just fuck <laughs> down. I have just go get, get in the fucking. Cheese. <laughs> All right, well, you guys need a refresher on how these things work anyway. Well, I'm searching if you fell to the black hole accident, don't worry, you are the first war tower to return to Bernal Hollow. Every war tower is to in a specific astral body. A tower's work will be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Bernal Hollow. You must be standing on the war platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is written, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. So basically, in order to warp somewhere, you have to be standing on a warp thing, and it, when the planet passes overhead, that's when you will warp to it. You have to activate that. Oh. Because it's stationary right now, so that thing starts the spinning. Does it matter which one you put it in? Not, no, not really. It's just, just going to spin one way or the other. Can't clockwise or counterclockwise. But either way, you're going to get to Brittle Hollow. That You're going to the down. You need to go to the up. <laughs> Okay, stand on the warp, look up. See those crosshairs? Mm. Okay. No, yeah, keep looking look up. The, if you look at the... Uh, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, once it collides with Riddle Hollow, which is where your ship is, mm -hmm. then... Uh, warp. <laughs> warp? Warp? That, and that's how the warps work. Yep, and you can read the record of your warp through those things. Charge, step on the warp receiver, platform to activate return, warp. Oh yeah, when you when you Departure. warp you can So now, huh. do you see do you see the discrepancy there? Yeah, you've technically gone back a thousandth of a millisecond. Yeah. And whenever you use a warp pipe, uh you the white the warps, warp pipe. Whatever. <laughs> whenever you use a warp, the, the white ones don't normally let you warp, but if you warped from a black one into a white one. You, you can, can use the white one to go back if you want to. Like but immediately, do you have to stay standing on it? To no, you have to. You have to walk off it and then walk back on. Yeah. Ah, okay. It only happens during the loop, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, once the loop ends, then it's gonna reset. So. Might as well check the ship log. You guys haven't done that in a while. Just, just walk out and walk back over. See? Well, does this take time while I do this? No, this actually does pause time. Okay. So, looking at all this entirely will... Yeah, okay. the time doesn't move when you do this. That'd be really shitty if it did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, but I mean... I. I just wasn't sure. You guys unlocked a lot, and you just haven't looked at it. <laughs> yeah. It's still going. Yeah. It's still going. Okay. okay. Well, first off, you guys have a lot of leads, but... Quantum Blade sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. Uh, that's the only thing you're going to look at? I mean, all right. I mean, you don't want to... Never mind. No. I, I, I don't know. Oh. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. There's more to explore here. 
<laughs> if you could call that landing. Yeah. Yeah. More like bouncing. <coughs> Boing. And no my device created a track the quantum moon's location. The no my device the quantum map by the form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. The quantum moon travels to a total of five locations. What? Six. Sometimes a sixth. I find that my city suspended beneath the Bruno Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. I find a switch in the Meltwater district that raises and lowers the Black Hole Forge. The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced core core required for the Ash Twin project. There's more to explore here. Yeah, <sighs> the shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface of... Uh, two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice this on the interloper's uh, sunward side that is intended to investigate. Yeah, this is where it's talking about the interloper. Oh, that's from the comet? Yeah. Okay. So we could do that now. Um, we about it. Yeah. This is war core broke when the ship crashed into Dark Bramble. The Black Hole Forge is uh, suspended in below the hangar, so they find a switch in the Melwater district that raises always the forge. You guys read this, I thought. Black Hole Force District is the highest uh, district in the Hanging City. Gosh. The Nomai named Poke plan to create a new advanced warp core in the Black Hole Force. The Nomai crafted warp cores at the Black Hole Force before delivering them to Ash Twin. Is that all? Well, I mean, there's tons of new shit. It's just what do you want to look at? Uh, I found a Nomai shuttle almost completely encased in ice. The Nomai landed on the Angel over not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard very strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Noah aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm, while the other two explored the interloper comet. Clary, the Noah who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field. I recalled a Noah shuttle from the interloper. This island is where the Nomai built the orbital probe cannon. For some reason, the Nomai put the orbital probe cannon on indefinite hiatus. The cannon was not asked to fire. According to a Nomai computer, the long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. The Nomai construction yard saw something sink beneath the underwater current, which it previously thought was impossible. Build Spar found a way to reach the core of Giant's Deep. He won't tell you, though. Why? He's like, well, you just gotta figure it out for yourself. What dick? <laughs> this island must be where the Nomai created statues like the one in our observatory. I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. I found a sign for a statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island. Some of my children debated bypassing the statue's workshop door and sneaking as I via an alternate, more dangerous route. I can see into a large cave from one of the ruins on top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. So you had to go in from... From the bottom. That's basically that's what it's telling you. Gabbro is lunging a hammock near the island shore. Gabbro found a Nomai statue on another island. The statue's eyes started glowing and Gabbro saw their memories flash before their eyes. Gabbro remembers dying. They saw their memories flash before their eyes just like the time of the statue. Gabbro and I seem to be the only ones aware that we're in a time loop. There's more to explore here. So is Feldspar not aware at all? No. Gabbro's the only one. Hmm. Other than you. The, ne the negative time interval measured at the White Solar White Hole Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. The High Energy Lab could only be accessed by a path from the Sunless City. Should I try to go for Ash Twin since it's close to? This is very late, or now? Uh, you can if you want, I guess. I mean, you barely scratch the surface of Brittle Hollow, but I mean, again, you've been scratching a lot of surfaces. Yeah. <laughs> I found a cave with an English fossil inside, but the opening is only big enough for my scout. The Nomai learned how to evade Englishfish, theoretically at least, by studying an Englishfish fossil they found on Ember Twain. Nomai children used to play a game in Fossil Fish Cave. There is a way to enter the Fossil Fish Cave from Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the Englishfish is fed a light first. Oh uh, yeah, you guys haven't actually been in there yet. We, we started the thing, but it got filled with sand. So. Yeah. You know, at that, that, that time I was late for literally all of it. Yeah. 
A Nomai city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai opposed its construction, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. The Nomai traveled to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. Chert has set up their astronomy gear on the north pole of Ember Twin. Chert has spotted an unusually high number of supernovae recently. And that's on um, that's Ember on Twin. Uh, Ember Twin, yeah. No one decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Bertle Hollow South Pole. There is a pole, or excuse me, a path beneath the surface that leads to the observatory. The trailhead starts at Bertle Hollow's equator. Ryback says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. The Nomai of the Southern Observatory constructed a model of giant steep that revealed on how an object might sink below the strong ocean current. Is that all the rivers? Uh, those more green things right there. Oh. Several large Nomai towers form a ring around Ash Twinsy Crater. The Whitehall Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin project. There's a way to safely travel to the Sun Station from Ash Twin. The Nomai debated building a Sun Station in order to power the Ash Twin project. The Nomai built something called the Sun Station, but not everyone supported its construction. Oh, and there's, a, there's another one right up there. The purple. Left. And no one named uh, Coleus was standing on the wandering rock when another Noah's lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Coleus and the rock were both gone. To travel with the, with the quantum object, I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. Coleus used this quantum world to escape the cave he was trapped in. Coleus and Melore return to examine the rock. The theory is that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to observe his or her surroundings, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they both move together. And up a little bit, if you don't mind. Uh, up, as in like... A little bit. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's the last one. The Nomite noticed a strange wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves on Ember Twin's northern hemisphere. I found a strange rock shard that moves when I'm not watching. It Wait. It a signal on the quantum fluctuations frequency. This is the only rock that can do this, right? What? This is the only quantum rock that can do that, right? Not just the quantum moon or this, but other other ones could also do that, right? Uh, every quantum object moves when you're not looking at it. But like Every quantum object behaves the same. Yes. Yeah. Is there another instance of a quantum rock that could be used as like a sort of teleportation device like this one no. is used for? No, because there's no place dark enough. Okay. I had to I had to ask yeah. the question because you never know. Not that they would do that to you, but I bet you're waiting for a <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go explore more Bill Hollow. I don't know what to explore though. Well, there's a lot of things you can explore here. You can explore more of the Hanging City. You explore. Can, uh, you can do the 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 gravity cannon. There's the, they have a gravity cannon here. There's the uh, there, that's the quantum tower. But you just have to figure out how to get in. Yeah, I'll guess I'll try and figure that out. <laughs> Keep doing is this the third thing we need to figure out how to yes yeah, this is the third and third and final one you want to look at the i think you guys already looked at these during our last session but if you guys want a refresher i guess because i know you guys have been here once before Ooh. Ooh. being a bit risky <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually gonna surface integrity thirty nine percent. You know, I actually don't remember this one. Like I remember being in it. I just don't remember how I got there. You love your fucking secret conversations and shit. Yeah. Would you prefer we just spoiled everything? No. Exactly. <laughs> My question is, can I launch something?
I will die if I attempt that. <laughs> of course. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. You have to activate those. And you know what's funny? Is that um, it actually happened during... By, was it by accident? Um, They kind of just assumed it was a fail state. So they let the... Yeah. Not that one anywhere. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Use your use your thruster. Use your thrusters. Get, get that. Get that warp. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Okay, Not the end of the world. Ow. Okay. Keep using your thrusters. Go forward. No. Well, okay. that's too late. Never mind. I. Oh wait. It's... How are you? Uh, thrusters, 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 and move. What the hell is that? Okay. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, you are you are orbiting the black hole. Look look behind you, because you're moving backwards. Okay. Now keep using your thrusters. Go find something to land on. And what you're gonna want to aim for is one of those purple things. <laughs> not that. Not that. That's death. Well. <laughs> did he get knocked through the black hole? He did. Yeah. That's funny. Uh jeez. I hate that. Do you think they'll need like a little prodding with that? Because that could be hard to figure out on your own. It is. Um, maybe. Do you think that they need it? Okay, do you guys need a hint with the tower? Well... Because I can tell you one thing that's was, not going to tell uh, you everything. Okay. But it might help. Maybe, but not just yet. There's still okay. more exploring I want to do besides that. I want to scout out the tower before I pull anything, personally. Okay. If you want to tell Johnny and like, have me leave the room, that's fine. Nah, you guys are in it together. Yeah. I just thought you might want some help with the tower, because it's... It's not the most obvious. It's not, at all. And honestly, you would only figure it out through, like, accident, maybe. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Uh, I kind of figured it out on my own, but... Not me. Cause now, now that you reminded me, I remember it was totally by accident. I was just fucking around. Gotcha. And then... Well, I can't say anymore. Alright. Was I close on accident? Uh, no. Okay. But, uh, okay, so find the gravity cannon if you, if you plan on doing the very quick sunless city thing. Is that it? Yeah. It, no, that's the, that's the escape pod. It's, it's that's right there. Right there. there if you don't do sunless percent, you gotta be quick. Yeah. Because uh, that sand fills up faster than you think. Alright, and then find the secret entrance. Turn on your flashlight. Something, something that sounds like faster than Garfield and like Eat Buffet. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> and then where am I going? You platform, then across because that that's yeah platform over there yeah. And then across. So it's Gusta Mata. Nice. Open door. Oh, he got the he's got the speed <laughs> <screen laughs> starts unlock. Yeah, and then jump straight down. Johnny's not fucking around. Don't even worry about the lights. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. You got it. Open door. There we go. Now figure it out. I'll just follow this cord if you want to. Good content, guys. <laughs> oh fuck! This one you actually have to wait for the sand because you can't, you can't fly through the sand. So. Or well, you actually might have to wait here for a little bit for the sand to fill up. Well, he can get back up there if he does not touch the sand. Yeah. But to get past the cacti, you're actually going to have to wait for a little bit. So you might as well go back and read that sign that you skipped. You know, I will admit that I tried really hard to try to force my way through there. <laughs> yeah. The, the sand legit, like, forces you down. There's no way to just... You know. Did you die trying to force yourself? Um, uh, no, I just wasted time. A higher energy lab, 400 meters. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, so Ooh, that's how you, you can do cool stuff here. Yeah, although uh, we'll do that last. Last? Oh, okay, fair enough. So how long do I have to wait? Because I know i got a very small window of... Well, you should be okay for right now. You just gotta wait for the cavern to fill up. Yeah. It, will, it really won't take that long. So we, we, it just has to get above the cacti. So you yeah, can, and then you can just walk across. Yeah, but but then you will be pressed for time. Yeah, you'll need to, like, book, book it. it. <laughs> book it, book it. And I book it. Uh, ding, ding. <laughs> Ding ding. Uh, so how are you guys doing? I'm excited to see what's in the high energy lab. You yeah. should be. That's like all on my mind right now. I just I want to fucking get in here. <laughs> I'd love it if they did it themselves. Oh, I mean, that'd be hilarious. Coffee. I don't know if I don't know if they hmm? will. I want coffee. I want coffee. Without like. Do you want some of my monster? <laughs> Um, I can like pour it into a cup for you. I guess, sure, why not? Yeah. I think it's probably the last video of this session anyway. Probably, because um, I work early tomorrow and it's yeah. already close to one. Yeah. So, but, uh. I got you. I got you. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks. There you are, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Alright, get ready. It's one of the fizz. You know in beer they call that head? The fizz? Really? Something something oh. getting head joke. Yeah, if they yeah. say it's good head, it's like uh you know, got that nice thick foam. Alright. You gotta wait till it's above the catch eye, because you can't fly when you're in yeah. the sand. Don't puncture yourself. Don't puncture yourself. If you puncture yourself, I'm gonna do the in your arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Five, four, three, two, one yar. That's it. Go, 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 go. I right, knew yeah, it was you gotta coming. run. You gotta run. Uh, dead end. Go. You have to fly above the cat guy. Yeah, go the other way. Here we go. Here we go. Fly above that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Fine. Whatever. Oh, we're just playing Terraria. Great. So, ba, 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 ba. Come on, come on, come on. Touch me, babe. Da da da. Can't you see that I'm not afraid? Ba da ba da. Alright. No problem. You're going up. Uh, excuse me? No, that's good. You want to no, go. Okay. okay. You could have possibly died there, and that would have not been fun. Alright, go, uh, go, go, go. No, just go. Yeah, keep following it. No, no, not that. No, down. no, that's. You came from there. That's a down thing, so you have to keep going. Because that's, that's going down. Yeah. Alright. Uh, do you know how to boost run? Yeah, there you go. That's a good way to, like, go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. And that should be the entrance right there. Sonic Cafe. Okay. Okay. Great, now I have that stuck in my head. All right. Welcome to the High Energy Lab. You You can open that if you want. Do I it. would. Do it. Do it. I'm just gonna... Alright. Be now, a little testing area. A few of these things... That's a window. Yes. Yeah, you can... Yes. A few... This reminds me of Angie Chamber as fuck right now. So this, as you know, is a is a lab. It's a high energy lab, which so, must mean... This so must... You, if you look to your left, there are cores. No, it's or, your sorry, right. right. My bad. My, you're right. My bad. I know I'm right. I, okay, yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. So, these are cores. These are warp cores. Of black and white holes, and ones that are broken. Does it, do I just put it down, or? No, yeah, you can put do it. Do you see the slots covered in blue to your left, where the, the observation chamber is? Oh, okay. 
Interesting. And then chore. Why would <laughs> whatever it, it worked anyway. <laughs> I was about to say like so you this can't is where go through a white hole. This is right. where they test the warp technology. You can try out different combinations if you want. You, you don't have to put it in there. You can just yeah. I think it only works with a black and white. Wait, try to take a picture inside the black hole. I'm not sure if you can. It's kind of instantaneous. Yeah. Oh. Well. Okay, before you do anything else with this, go explore the rest of the lab because there's like writing and whatnot. We have something interesting to show you when you're done. Yes. Uh, records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver of Hall very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Romain are de devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. In theory, we want to try to re what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something <coughs> entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at this destination. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Interesting stuff. Mm. Uh, don't mess with that yet. That, yeah. Uh, wait, there's a scroll on the floor. You can take that scroll out and put that scroll in. Scroll, scroll. They want you to scroll. Man, if only you had, like, two hands. They want you to scroll. <laughs> I know, right? They want you to scroll further. Uh... And update. Uh, uh, Her experiment uh, uh, reproduced the anomaly in a rival in the person choice, but Pi is unconvinced more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the sum of the city's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Raimi, Yaro suggests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. <laughs> All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raymay and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of the abstract theory and practical application. So the more theory you give a black hole, a white hole pair, the greater the discrepancy between time, black time and space between them. Yes. Yes. So. That's interesting. It's fun. Isn't it? And what's so interesting, I think, as well, is that uh, a lot of these, oh, these, a lot of this bases itself on like real scientific theories. So okay, the Southern Observatory is asking if creating a twenty-two minute interval is possible. That is to have something arrive twenty-two minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> yeah, we've re we've learned the negative. Interval of time between departure and arrival time can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate oh my necessary God. energy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas, Pi. My pump was intended, Romy, so I believe it's you who's arrow form. <laughs> <laughs> Raimi and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. It would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The location large enough would be Ash Twin. So the sun is somehow powering a huge-ass warp core that is transporting us back in time 22 minutes. So when I was joking earlier about it all being quantum, I was kind of correct. This is... Definitely, where you figure this this out, mm -hmm. isn't it mind blowing? It's all connecting. That's <laughs> fucking wild. Right. Are they ready? Uh, not yet. There's another scroll. Okay. Oh my god. I just, I, I just need to think on this for a second. Well, it's not like anybody's. <laughs> I know. Kidding. I know. I just. I... <laughs> yeah. So each time loop is twenty two minutes. Yeah, which means that this all is just one giant fucking 
white hole, black hole, quantum mechanic. Mm. The sun itself, when it goes supernova, turns into the black hole. Which is then spits us out at the beginning of... Of the white hole at the beginning of the loop before it even happened. Yep. So, does... I'd like to state, though, that the black hole technology... The warp core technology is separate from quantum. I, the quantum I, stuff has more to do with the moon. I, 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 it, and other stuff. Semantics. <laughs> well, it's, it's important to make the distinction. Well, yes, I am aware that the distinction is there, but I mean, like, my land... My... my uh, <laughs> my train of thought remains the same. All right. Can you get the other scroll? Yeah, I just... Yeah, I gotta take that scroll out. Yeah, I just... That's... That, I just... That was a lot. These mm. are the moments that I live for. Right. Where, like, you oh, learn uh, all this little the murals, stuff, and then all the lines look, suddenly... Look at the murals. murals. On, the, on, the, on the wall. Just look at them. Because I'm pretty sure it updated your ship log when you did. Okay. That's all I wanted. Those also give hints if you look close enough, but, you know... The Astro Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ashwin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers like the one we have on the Whitehall Station to connect Ashwin directly to each critical location? Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Of note, each tower on Ashwin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> we can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. And we oh, can shit. And model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. Uh, so all those towers that are on Ash Twin. All the warp things that... You... Each one is a different... Okay. Warps to a different planet. Yep. Mm. Very cool. Yeah. I know you guys didn't bother using the warps, but now you know anyway. Yeah. I, I and just, actually, those... I was just trying to go through and look at the different buildings. Those murals show you the tower's structures. Yeah. So each of those towers are on the planet. Mm -hmm. And this is to... What, what is that supposed to be? Wait, which means we can get the sun, uh, sun station, too. Yes. Is that what this one is? Yes, actually. That's the sun station one. Uh, which means that the one this with this weird bridge in it those is... Those are the twins. The twins. Mm -hmm. You can only go to, I guess, the... You can, go to, you can go to both. You, do they both work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All, the, all of them work. And this one is to... Uh, uh, that's probably Dribble Hollow, because of the breaking the, the gotcha. sections. Yeah. Which means a triangle... Or like, is that Dribble Hollow? Uh, I think that's supposed to be Giant's Deep? Question mark? No, Giant's Deep looks like a cyclone, so it's that one. Yeah. That one? That one's Giant's Deep. Then that one has to be Timber Hearth. And that's the other one, Timber Hearth. Maybe because yeah, it looks like that's kind of really Oh yeah, that it? okay. Uh, that one's Timber because Hearth. it looks like a geyser. Yeah, and that, that one's Turtle Hollow. All right. All right. Uh, Are up they stairs. Oh no, not yet. Okay. I just want to make sure they get everything in here before we do. Oh, that. I, I totally understand. I'm <sighs> just you know. God damn it! You told excited. us to go to the last one. And now I'm chomping at the bit for fucking more. I, I know it's that. it's good. Okay, though. okay. You're back outside, so that that's everything. That you already read all this. Oh. This is this is outside yeah. the station. Oh, so I don't need that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so now redirect power. You So yeah, use that. That thing that we were telling you not to use before. Mm -hmm. And put it in there. And now all the power is going to these cores. So they should be bigger, maybe. Take them out and put them back in. I guess they're the same. But whatever. Uh, shoot one through it. And as you can see, what? there's two of them for a brief moment. Now, try and take a picture with both of them. It... Now, here's what I want you to do. When you see both of them on screen, take one of the cores out. Now there's two of them. Uh... Um... Congratulations! You got the uh, destroyed the fabric of space time. You got man. you got an alternate ending. <laughs> oh, and credits? Do we get credits? Yeah, yeah we get credits. 
You destroy the fabric of space time. Gee, next gee, time I, on Our Wilds. Yeah? Oh, see you guys next time. Uh, yeah? Uh, yeah? Uh, 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 bye, everybody. Bye. GG.